Science Grade 10, Ideal Cast Law Our objective is to solve problems on Ideal Cast Law. The Ideal Cast Law Equation That is P V equals N R T Where P is equal to the pressure in ATM V is for volume in liters, N is the number of moles, R is for the universal gas constant which is equal to 0.0821 liters times ATM over mole times K, and T is for temperature in Kelvin. Ideal gas law. This enables us to examine the relationship between the non-constant properties of ideal gases, the N, P, V, T, as long as the three of these properties remain fixed. For the ideal gas equation, note that the product PV is directly proportional to T. This means that if the gas temperature remains constant, pressure or volume can increase as long as the complementary variable decreases. This also means that if the gas temperature changes, it may be due in part to the change in the variable of pressure or volume. Let's try solving this sample problem. What is the volume of a container that can hold 0.5 mole of a gas at 25 degrees Celsius and 1.25 atm? We have the following given for this problem. Number of mole is equal to 0.5 mole. Temperature is 25 degrees Celsius or 298 Kelvin. Pressure is 1.25 atm. V is what we are looking for in this problem. And the value of R which is equal to 0.0821 liters atm over mole Kelvin. Once again, we have the ideal gas law equation which is equal to PV equals nRT. Then this R given from the sample problem that we have, then substitute for the value of P which is equal to 1.25 atm, V which is the unknown, equals N which is equal to 0.5 mole times the value of R which is 0.0821 liters atm over mole Kelvin and multiply that by the value of temperature which is equal to 298 Kelvin. After substituting the given known values, let's do the mathematics for this problem. In order for you to get for the value of volume, you divide both sides with 1.25 atm. In the left side of this equation, you have 1.25 atm divided by 1.25 atm is equal to 1. Then cancellation of units will follow. So what unit remains in this equation is the liter units. So you'll have V is equal to 12.23 liters over 1.25. Dividing that and you'll have V is equal to 9.8 liters. Now it's your turn to solve the following problems.